Hi guys, Sam here from Super Nerd Gaming and I'm back for another video. Uh, this time it's going to be a £5 challenge video. So you might go, £5 challenge? What is that? Well, that's if, you know, you're out and about game hunting, which I normally am. I'm literally, you know, if I'm in a, like a town or anywhere, I'll look for the charity shops, the game shops, see anything. Now with the £5 challenge, just if you've got whatever's in your wallet at the time, go got five pound let's see what i can get for the best of it and i did pick up some titles this is also a great way of getting some titles you normally wouldn't touch because you're like mm, but i needed to make up the five pound so anyway let's just get into it so uh, without further ado you know, i should have a little table here or something i really should but without further ado let's get in so the first game i picked up is Clive Barker's Jericho for the Xbox 360. Um, it's an FPS shooter. I remember when it came out, and I think I played the demo and I went to. It didn't catch me uh, like many other FPS games do. But, um, you know, for the pound, you're not arguing. You really aren't. It is really a good time to be getting Xbox 360 games and PS3 games because. When they're going for a pound and that, you may as well give it a go. Alright, the next game, which unfortunately I've just found out I actually own. But I don't own this type of it. It is Killzone 3 for the uh, PS3. Now that's only £2 and it, what catches my eyes? Steelbook games catches my eyes. I, I'm like a magpie when I see Steelbook games. They look really nice. So... Here we are, that's nice. It's got a bit of wear and tear, but to be honest, you don't notice because the box is meant to look a bit wear and tear. Uh, for £2, I wasn't arguing over that, although I did just check my collection then and I, I have got it there, so it's... Mm, you know, I don't walk out with lists, I really should do. The game that I'm quite most excited about, sorry, getting rid of them, um, to pick up is one I haven't seen before. Now, I might have mentioned it on here a couple of times. I'm a massive Dragon Ball Z fan. And I found this. Super Dragon Ball... Oh, with the, without the light. <laughs> Super Dragon Ball Z. Um, I love the case art on it. The case art's lovely. The North American. I checked out the North American case art. It's not that good. It's just Goku and Vegeta. But that's lovely, that. Um, I've never seen this one bopping around. Um, I obviously... I've got the Budokai's. Uh, I've seen the Tenchikai's as well, but I've never seen this one. Uh, what caught me interest as well is apparently it's a, it's made by the guy that done Street Fighter 2. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I think that says it there. Um, which is interesting because Street Fighter 2 is like amazing. So putting that into a Dragon Ball Z game, yeah, I'm all over that. But yeah, anyway guys, that's literally everything I picked up for a fiver. So... You know, these three games, I'll get professional one day. I really will when getting these games and stuff like that. Um, so these three games for a fiver. Yeah, um, I really, what I must say is I really need to start building my PS3 collection up. Because it is dire. Compared to my Xbox 360 collection, I think it's just because I was always Xbox 360. And it wasn't until... The, towards the end of the life the ps3 that it was like wow this is a really good console and that's when it went through all the uncharted and that but anyway that's a story for another day i hope you enjoyed watching this and i'd love to know if any of you go out and do a five pound challenge and if you do what what have you picked up let us know put it in the comments i'll catch you next time guys see you later